Hey everyone, thanks for coming by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can organize and clean your kids' playroom in under 20 minutes. Welcome to my dining room kids' playroom. Um, this is a mess. It's a huge mess. My children have managed to pull everything out. Um, and if not everything, they have put stuff in places that don't belong um, and made a complete mess. So I want to show you how quickly it really takes to go ahead and clean up a room that looks this messy. Um, all about organization. So, things that I do, I have a boy and a girl. Um, for their small prop, like their small little toys, little figures and such, they each get a basket. I got these at Target. I think my daughter drew on this one, lovely. Um, so this one can be hers. I think they were $6.99 or so. Um, but I wanted them to kind of stay gender neutral, so got both of these, um, and these are the Circo brand. First what I do is I go ahead and take their toys, whichever toy, so boy toy on one side, girl toy on another, and just put them away. So all these little figures, these drive me crazy, but they love them. As I go through these, I sort. So this is like one of her little necklaces. This is one of the, sorry, this little car keeps going off. Um, this is one of like the little Doc McStuffins band-aid. So that will go in a separate place. Things that I know don't belong where they're supposed to, I just kind of put them over to the side. Anything like that, I keep right in here. 
This pink bin I keep up top. This is my daughter's. Um, and all of her kind of make-believe, girly stuff goes in here. Except her wand. It won't fit. Oh, here's the Stephens. We said we had the band-aid for it. back up here. We'll put that up there. I have this bin, which I know boys play make-believe as well, but it has my daughter's name on it, and it's just kind of what I use um, for all of her little make-believe stuff. So I've got lots of little capes and things like that with the kids, um, you know, superheroes on them and such. So take the capes, take her little dress up, Tutus. And again, out of sight, out of mind. You don't play with it all the time. It can sit up there, no problem. More Legos and Mega Blocks. Okay. This is my little shopping cart. Babies are us for like 
40 bucks or something like that. card from a kid um, and both my kids wear it I would just throw it out but you know what they do tend to wear it so I'll keep it they seem to like it Freak them out. 
freaked me out too. Okay. So eventually as my kids get older, and even now, they can help me with this stuff. You know, they can't help with everything. But I want them to start learning. I mean, my daughter is three and a half. My son is 18 months. They can start putting stuff away, especially my three and a half girl. McStuffins one, but I need to figure out where my daughter put that bag. So these won't go in the Doc McStuffins. Instead, they're going to go in this empty one right here. And last but not least, this bin is mine. I don't know why it's in here along with the bowl. markers and if people ever give us gifts that come with markers or colors as they sit here in the south crayons what I call them at home and if they're not washable I put them away until they're old enough I can't tell you how many things we have of non washable markers that are just sitting and waiting Besides having to sweep up and vacuum, I say the room's pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about organization, um, don't hesitate to ask. And leave a comment below if you'd like. And um, go ahead and like this video. And I'll see you again next time.